Welcome back, my model building friends. Boyd here with you. This is part three of our AMT uh, Klingon Katinga cruiser buildup, and you can see in the picture I'm making a little bit more progress. I, uh, I haven't been able to go as far as I wanted because I'm kind of still waiting on my parts from JT Graphics to get here, but this afternoon I did a little bit more work on it, and I thought I'd show you what I got done here. And You can see in the shot that I uh, have chosen my uh, basic hull color here. This is sort of a uh, dark gray green color. Now, I match this to what I see on the screenshots from the movie and I have some nice photo uh, grabs of in color of the model as they were working on it in the studio and uh, you can see that uh, if you check those colors or if you check some of those pictures out you'll see that it's pretty pretty close and uh, of course it's a lot darker in some areas and this is just the basic color once we uh, do our all of our shading here and everything uh, on the uh, feather detail and there's some there's like a dark red oxide color that goes on here and various other places on the model and then you start doing weathering and shading and things like that it's it's very little of that basic green is going to be left but it's just kind of your base pattern and we're going to be doing a lot of weathering on the forward area here too once we get that but again we can't go much further on this now until we get those parts there's some resin parts here that are going to go uh, the detail for the hangar bay the rear firing disruptors and there's some disruptor pods that are mounted underneath of the, uh, uh, the uh, forward part of the hull here that needs some lighting. We've got lighting that needs to go up in here, but you can see I've put my um, flood lamps in here on the wing tops, and uh, I've got the grill lit up. I use some 1.8 uh, millimeter lighthouse SMDs again for this, which give a nice flood lamp effect. I'll turn the light off now here for you so you can see the effect we're getting. And what I really like about that is they give that flood lamp effect where they kind of fan out like that. And they really give you a nice, uh, they're highlighting the detail. You can see all the detail on the top of the wing now with those shadows being cast and everything. That's just like it looked in the movie too. And you notice on the grill there, it's not lit up super bright, right? It's in the movie, if you check it out at the beginning scene there, when the ship kind of changes angles and you look at it from different views, it's almost like you can't see it lit. And then uh, at a certain angle, it'll light up. And it's, but it's sort of faint. It's not supposed to be very bright. It's supposed to be kind of glowing from within and not projecting light out the front of it. So uh, that looks nice and in scale, and I really like how that turned out. I just uh, achieved that by making a plastic lens, tinting that, and gluing it to the inside. And I'm letting the interior lighting from the model cast light into that instead of you know putting something really bright right behind it. So that worked out really good. And you can see here uh, that we've got our little square flasher going on. That's all cleaned up really nice now and ready for paint. And we've got our little red beacon on the bottom that's that's working really nice and our forward lights. Again, there's light leaks all over it now because there isn't any paint on it. The only part that's been painted is the uh, the top uh, hull uh, piece. But uh, back here you can see we've got our nice uh, glowing engines. And those will be really nice once the lenses are put in there and the light blocking is all done. And uh, the nice honeycomb detail brass screens are put on there on the back. I'll put those on at the very end. Like I said, you don't want to put those on too soon and wind up damaging them. Uh, they can be put on at the very end. And they'll look nice because they'll be a different color than the uh, torpedo tube, which uh, lights up in red, and it'll give some nice contrast. So, But again, you can see those nice floodlights, and it, it's coming out really, really well. So... Okay, guys, well, that's about it for today. Uh, I'll be back again in the next couple of days to give you another update on it, and hopefully our parts will come in by then. So things are really looking nice. I'm really happy with everything so far, and we'll start showing you some shots of the other model coming together at the same time. And uh, I got some good news from uh, Dave and Jerry that things are coming along really good on the custom base that we're doing the, uh, for this with the MP3 player and everything. So really looking forward to it. It should be really cool when it all comes together. So... All right, guys, that's a wrap. Take care out there. Uh, build those models, like I said, and happy modeling. We'll catch up with you next time, and see you later, guys.